Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and today we're going to fly the E-Flight Beechcraft D18 out of the grass, and we're going to just see how good it handles. Let's get this thing in here and see how it does. All right, guys, the wind is coming out of the southwest, so we're going to take off to the south. Um, it usually does a little better that direction when the wind's coming across. Um, let's go one click on the flaps to help it get up out of the grass as quickly as possible. Full up elevator to keep the nose from pulling down as I run the props up. That'll cut off. Oop, there it goes. Took a little bit to get it up, but not too bad at all, really. Throttle, uh, flaps are off. And we'll bring it around here. We're about half throttle. And we'll get that gear going up. There they are, tucked away. And of course with the crosswind, we, I might struggle a little bit on the passes, but I'm gonna do my very best. There, it looked pretty good. Climbing up out of there. In high rates, let's take it up into a loop. A little roll out. I'll bring it up over the tree here a little bit. Came out as soon as I got off work so I could get a flight in. And I'm hoping to have this edited and back out to you guys the same day, but it'll be a little bit late. Hopefully it'll be worth it. This thing's so much fun to fly, guys. Love doing my roll to a turn, so let's try that. Oh yeah, look good. Being a passenger plane, they probably didn't do a whole lot of rolls and loops with these, but, you know, we don't always fly scale in RC. I seen the guy, um, I think the guy that had the, the big old bomber with four engines on it, uh, I think he crashed it few years back but I think I'm pretty sure I seen him doing flat spins with it I don't uh, anyways we don't always do a bunch of scale maneuvers but this is one airplane it can look really good scale but it definitely handles good love doing low passes like that it looks really good that way it makes a a, a very unique look especially if I can get a picture out of it there we go doing a full stealth pass here and back in the throttle you got the little kids down there playing soccer at the little fields this airplane can roll pretty good It's got a lot of authority on that elevator. <clears throat> it can probably do a very tight loop. And likely it can fly inverted. Oh, a lot of a lot of down authority actually. We'll we'll keep this coming around because I'm giving it too much. Anyways, <laughs> it doesn't look right upside down, but just to show you guys that it's capable of that. Oh, why not? Let's take it up into the stall. And that's pretty crazy that it can do all that tumbling, but came out backwards and it wasn't it was stalled enough on the descent that I wasn't able to get it to roll back to me. So I just throttled up and pulled out the other direction. 
and I don't know about yeah there's a lot of throttle to get those little elevators to hold it in that knife edge so definitely not a knife edge king even though it's got two rudders it's just not enough even even with um the i forget what they call that but where one engine spooled up more than the other still wasn't holding the knife edge well and maybe it's just because of having high throttle my timer is getting ready to tell me I love doing that roll to turn though even though it is like a passenger plane it's just one of my favorite things to do with jets I like doing that turn where you kind of up and as I'm turning I kind of at an up angle so on this pass we'll look at the gear gear going down I see them so far they've been really reliable this is only my fourth flight third on the channel I did fly it um, actually earlier today out of the grass the video just did not turn out so I'm back out here to show you guys that it can do it and uh, we're gonna take it around one more time get the flaps on one click there we go half throttle one click on the flaps letting it slow down we might go back around because I'm gonna be past me I think well yep see if we can line that up just a little bit better I turned in too quick you don't need that short approach take it on out a little ways there we go much much better on this approach about quarter throttle and she's descent oh all right let's take it around one more time The wind is kind of from my back, so maybe we'll turn it towards me just a little bit here. There we go. Quarter throttle. There we go. Wow. I got lucky, I think, because it would have rolled any farther. We would have been into the stop posts. <laughs> well, it turned out pretty good today. Big thanks to the Lord for a beautiful sunny evening. And um, man, I love the E Flight Beechcraft D18. I love this airplane. It flies so good and it handles very, very well. We do have, you know, like a five mile an hour breeze maybe. And it handled it great. Just needed to be turned into it just a little bit. But other than that, and of course, you know like any RC airplane. I made it do some things that it shouldn't do or people wouldn't do in real life, but you know, that's kind of how it is sometimes. I love the way it looks flying at scale, but at the same time, it has enough authority out of those um, control surfaces that I can make it maneuver the way I want to. And that's a big plus. Guys, I just love this airplane and uh, Hopefully you guys can see that. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Love all the great comments. And uh, as you can see, it got my hat. I was one of the first 100 people that signed up on fly.rcnation.com. I uh, love that website. I've shared a few things. I'm going to try to ramp it up a little bit, especially as we get into the colder months. Uh, get more and more articles on there. If you guys love reading stuff about RC, I definitely suggest going there i'll have it linked in the description box along with the airplane and the battery guys i really appreciate all your guys support until next time i'm grandpa gary and i just got here